If you have ever been in a chemistry lab, you probably noticed the different solutions can have very different colors. For example, a solution of cobalt appears pink, but a solution of nickel is light green. To explain why the two solutions have different colors, we will need to look at the absorption spectra of cobalt and nickel. But first, let's think about what makes a color. When light enters a solution, all the wavelengths of light enter. We call this white light, which is the light we see all around us. As light passes through a solution, solute molecules can absorb some wavelengths of light, which means that not all wavelengths are transmitted out of the solution. Our eyes perceive only the transmitted light, and since it no longer has all the wavelengths of light, we see a color. color. Let's take a look at cobalt now. We can see from the absorption spectrum that cobalt absorbs light between 500 and 600 nanometers. Looking at the colored scale, these wavelengths correspond to green and yellow light. So the transmitted wavelengths that leave the solution are in the 400 and 700 nanometer region. These wavelengths correspond to violet and red light, which together result in the pink color that we see. Nickel, on the other hand, absorbs light in the 600 to 800 nanometer range and in the 400 region. So it absorbs yellow, red, and violet light. The wavelengths that are transmitted are in the blue-green range and correspond to the light green color that we see in a nickel solution. In biology, we learned that plants are green because they contain chlorophyll. But now we can see and explain why chlorophyll makes plants green. Chlorophyll has the following absorption spectrum. It absorbs blue and violet light in the 400 to 500 nanometer range and yellow and red light in the 600 to 700 nanometer region. The wavelengths of light that chlorophyll transmits correspond directly to green light, which is why chlorophyll is green. And because plants contain a lot of chlorophyll in their stems and leaves, they look green.